Even though Ukraine is, was not uh, physically presented uh, at the summit, uh, it was on the agenda, and I would say that we we have a more positive outcomes of the uh, G20 summit, uh, uh, even though we are we not present. Uh, but I would like to begin with the uh, pre-summit uh, uh, pre uh, days, and uh, it, it, they were characterized by several events. Uh, first and foremost, it's a, a snap Russia, uh, Russian uh, military drills. Uh, alongside Ukrainian border. Uh, the main goal of such drills were to push pressure on the Ukrainian government uh, to uh, step, uh, step back in the negotiations on the so-called Minsk process. And secondly, to push pressure, to make some more pressure on the Western partners uh, to uh, negotiate Ukrainian crisis uh, resolution with, with, with Russia directly without Ukraine. Uh, and secondly, uh, it, it was the introduction of the uh, new wave of sanctions uh, of the United States against Russia, the violation of our territorial integrity and sovereignty. Uh, so Ukraine was not presented, but uh, it was a hot topic uh, during the discussions uh, with, uh, uh, with Russia, uh, separately by France, uh, Germany and uh, the United States. Russia failed to organize a meeting uh, of the so-called Normandy format uh, minus uh, Ukraine. Uh, instead, uh, uh, there was a uh, Geneva meeting uh, minus Russia, I mean the United States, um, France and Germany, and they discussed the common stand uh, with regard to Russian aggression against Ukraine. If we uh, have a look at the uh, news, uh, uh, of the Russian news after the summit, they were portraying the whole summit as a uh, stage uh, for, the, uh, for the Russian president and uh, every, each and every uh, uh, leader of the J20 were uh, just willing to handshake and uh, to talk to Mr. Putin, which was not true. And if you have a look at the um, photos uh, of the talks between uh, Obama and Putin, uh, they were not friendly. And after that, uh, Obama uh, explained that there is uh, gaps of uh, trust between the uh, two countries and it's impossible to reach any deals, and first and foremost about Syria, uh, w with such a behavior of the Kremlin. The most important achievement of the Kremlin is that it has not been uh, served as a dish uh, during the talks. Uh, and uh, what, what is also important is that uh, uh, all leaders of the Western world, of free world, uh, understand what's going on in Ukraine and who, who to blame for uh, the war in Ukraine and uh, this provocation uh, on Crimea and Peninsula uh, that the Russians blamed on Ukrainian special forces uh, as a pre pretext of uh, um, quitting the form Normandy format. Uh, it just failed. Uh, so uh, the normal deformant is uh, still in place and there will be meetings and uh, there is no way how, for, for the Putin to avoid this uh, without any uh, further sanctions.